we are, buddy. I was right all along. You were just another threat to Rubicon. <laughs> Lap dog. It's that Vesper. That's no Arcadus I see. Even with the combined might of the corporations, I couldn't stop you. But this new AC can. Well, that explains it. I don't know why, but it looks like he was using the force too. They've always been after Rubicon, taking what they can get. Someone has to put an end to this injustice. Don't look at me, tourist. Just make sure you win this. You think you're some kind of one-man army? You think it's your right to choose who lives and dies? Where did this resolve come from? You must have chosen something, sacrificed something. You found your purpose, didn't you, buddy? Sorry, friend. I can't help you anymore. I'm glad we got to know each other better. You flew just out of reach. Hey everybody, welcome back once again for an almost unsolicited cosplay build in Armored Core 6. I mean, nobody asked for it, but for the same reasons that I revisited Red Rum, we're gonna go ahead and revisit Lisa. Old King is gonna like the new stuff we got now. So, let's get into it and start from the top of the frame. One of the first parts that got swapped out for a new part is the Schneider Lammergeier, Lammergeier head. We, uh, we did have the Tian Kiang pan head before, and they both really kind of work, but we're going to stick with the Lammergeier to replace the hollow ferns. Uh, the core I picked for the Akazar originally there is the Mind Alpha Core of the Rubiconian Institute. The old Judith arms are surprisingly similar to the Melander C3 arms of Balaam, and the legs are a nice pair of Mind Betas in place of the Akazar reverse joint legs. As for the internals, our booster is a Rubiconian Institute NGI-001. Also coming from the Rubiconian Institute is the Oscillus FCS because the old king likes to get in your face. From Baus, I'm powering this with the Yava because most of, the, uh, most of your energy use will be for dodging attacks. And to top it off, of course, I kept them with the assault armor. Toasty. So I kind of made a very, very unimportant little tiny little boo-boo with the weapons. And when we get there, I'll mention it. But for now, in place of the Algebra Sambiquita is the Balaam Zimmerman Boomstick. On the right back, I've got the P04 Act 01 from Furlong in place of its near identical older twin, the Poplar 01 High Act Missile from MSAC International. In the left hand, this is where I made the small little mistake, I got the Laviata and the Acacia from the Red Rum video. A little bit mixed up, well not mixed up, but kind of uh, I thought they were the same. So in place of the Algebra Laviata is the Baus Rani AR. Oops. And on the left back slot is one of my personal favorites, the Xiao Wei from Dafeng to replace Lisa's old CGR500 from Rosenthal. Like I said earlier, Lisa benefits most in tight and on the ground mostly, using energy to quick boost out of the way of hard hitting attacks. Try to be smart about when you launch the missile as it can be easily convinced to eat dirt if it misses early on after launch. Now, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see and you want more of it, then please feel free to poke that little like button there and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With all that out of the way though, let's go ahead and find some cradles to destroy. Range three to four, contain the target. 
buddy. I've taken out the relay mast. That takes care of their external comms for now. Keep moving. Four targets left. Three heavy warships to go.
is kept secret by all mind. HAL 826. That's an IBIS series designation. Why don't we see how it performs? Main system. Activating combat mode.
said. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a cosplay build or for an NPC to get pushed to the front of the line, let me know in the comments and we'll get that going. We, uh, we as in, uh, me. Uh, I'll, I'll get that going. Um, anyhow. But again, thanks for watching. See you later. Leave a like and subscribe.